Why don't you look about in the meadow? You might get an idea for a story there. Hmm. Maybe I will. I'll make up a story for you, Little White Owl. For me? I can't wait to hear it. A story, a story, making up a story. A nut brown hair making up a story. Let's see. Hmm. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a tree. Yes, a large leafy tree. And under it was a beautiful red raspberry. And another. Oh, hello, little redwood fox. I see you found the raspberries too. And they are so red and sweet. Let's pick a big pile of them. Well, I would, but I'm trying to think up an idea for a story to tell Little White Owl. I promised her. Can you think of one? Oh, I can try. Uh, I know. Let's go to the river. We might get some ideas there. Story, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> A story, making up a story. A nut brown hair. And a redwood fox, making up a story. What are you doing? We need to think of a story for Little White Owl before the sun goes down. Do you have an idea? Hmm, a story for Little White Owl. Yes. Why don't we go to the flower fields? I always go there when I have to think hard. Yes. We're sure to think of an idea there. Oh, let's take these with us. A story, a story, making up a story. A nut brown hair. A redwood fox. And a grey squirrel. Making, making up, a up a story. Hmm. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a little lavender mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you surprised us, little field mouse. <laughs> oh dear, it's getting late and I still haven't got an idea. Little White Owl will be so disappointed. Hmm. Oh, what's up, little nut brown hair? We went everywhere. The meadow, the river, the woods. And you couldn't think of any stories? No. All we found was this fruit. What will I do? I promised Little White Owl a story and I haven't got one to tell her. And soon she'll wake up because, look, it's already sunset. Don't worry. With a little bit of imagination, you'll find what you need is all around you. Long, long ago, there was a little nut brown hare who saw the sunset. Ooh, has my story started? You're just in time, little white owl. Oh, good. I can't wait. The little nut brown hare saw the sunset was full of red and pink and purple, so bright that you could almost taste them. He decided to invite all his best friends to supper so they could taste the sunset together. How could they taste the sunset? Because he had sweet raspberries as red as the sunset. Oh, he had slurpy strawberries as pink as the sunset. Oh, and he had lovely lavender as purple as the sunset. Amazing! Yes, and so, that evening, the friends shared the most colourful supper ever. It tasted just as good as the sunset. The end. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> that was a wonderful story. Thank you, little nut brown hair. I think that is the most colourful story. I have ever heard. Guess how much I love you. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun and adventure with me and all my friends. See you next time.